Hey y'all! I feel so discombobulated. Mm -hmm. Really? Did you shoot monster? I started drinking it. Kind of soup? Yeah. Use some drugs, girl. Use some drugs. <laughs> wow. You were a Caucasian woman. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please! <laughs> Look at it, guys, our foundations. This is just if you put this on me. Wow. Wow. Let me get activated for you guys. Do monsters be having the same effect on you as it does on me? Maybe you should have took it some pre-workout. <laughs> I was gonna. But then I, it was just gonna make me jittery, not like energetic and... Mm. Holy Spirit, activate. Holy Spirit, activate. Okay. Hi guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's your girl, Stacey Theroux. And your girl, Layla Qasim, coming at you live with the Laylo show or the Stay Low show. Wiki wiki, wiki wiki, I just saw a video of that, uh, this girl saying, I actually just followed her back on TikTok. She posted a video of her saying, would a sad person be able to make this joke? What does a DJ call his son? <laughs> she says, girl. I'm dead. <laughs> I I have these, so that should have been weak as fuck. Oh my god, that shit's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're gonna do our makeup. We have a bunch of shit to record today, so we're like, you know what? Might as well record a bunch, record ourselves getting ready for a bunch of shit of recording ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And we're gonna talk to you guys about the shit that we be talking to you guys about. You know the real deal. I posted on my Instagram story. We always talk about politics on this too. <laughs> And it was us talking about the most nonsensical, non-politic <laughs> thing ever. What is this? So pink. Is this the lip, this the lip thing? MAC? Is that song which was my lip gloss be popping? My lip gloss be... Did she say MAC at any point in that song? No, that's Nicki Minaj. Um, something, something, MAC. My MAC lip gloss? Lip, yeah, she said something about lip gloss. MAC, MAC lip. came out with... The, this is not promo. It okay? isn't. It is not promo. I fuck with these with these niggas though. Oh, I forgot that this isn't TikTok. I can say the N word. Um, Mac came out with this these fucking chapsticks like lip bombs. I don't even know what this is supposed to be considered. It says squirt plumping gloss stick. I don't know why they added the word squirt in the front of that. But I'm gonna show you what the fuck it be doing at the end of this video. You're gonna see. But it's like bright pink. But when I put it on, it don't be looking like this fucking pink. It'd be real cute. Guess who's back? 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 Back again? 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 T boys back 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 go tell your friend friend friends. Did you ever just watch that guy? Never ever heard that in my life. Wow. But I heard a version, something similar to that. It's not coming to me though. But the 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 the, the, the rhythm you were doing, uh -huh. I've definitely heard it before. Um Alright. So we just start the conversation. Yeah, what do you want to talk about first? Um Damn, there was something that we said we were going to talk about, and then I said let's talk about this. For oh, yeah. We noticed that men. And every single, every single video is men, men, men. But you guys, you guys are, you guys are a vessel full of things to talk about. You guys do everything <laughs> fucking wrong. So when we talk about it, you just sit down and you fucking listen. Yeah, you just fucking, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, I just. Especially when you like you have very scared. I think that's enough. I just spit all over my fucking mirror. That was really crazy. <laughs> you, know, you know, sometimes I sneeze and like, sometimes I be trying, you know people who like, oh, I try to sneeze without, without moving my face. Mm -hmm. I normally do that anyway. Like I can sneeze with my eyes open. Like I don't got to do so much, but it's like, let yourself relax, shorty. Like you don't got to do that, you know? Mm -hmm. So sometimes, one time, I think it was like literally two days ago, my mouth was wide open and I was doing, I think I was doing my mascara. The spit that came out my fucking mouth, and I was literally like, "Yo, it was as easy as shutting your mouth and letting your body sneeze." Instead, you did. And the spit just came out. I was like, "Okay, well, bitch. Okay." But yeah, we we were talking about how, like, the other day, me and Lila, I think when the clock strikes about midnight, it starts to become a loca hour in this house. We start to literally like, if you just put a camera in this house, it becomes like. We're not sane individuals walking around like we just be doing the dumbest shit and the other day the dumb shit we were on was We we got the key y'all 
to the way men think, to the way men move. And ever since we got this fucking key, every single interaction that either of us has with men, whether it's a text conversation or watching men on TV or X or Z or Y or whatever it is, mm -hmm. whatever variable you throw at us, we know how the fuck to handle the situation because we got this little key of information. So listen up if you want to fucking stop being a dumb bitch and stop drinking that dumb bitch juice so you keep on drinking every fucking day. <laughs> men, though there's multiple, there's multiple like, parables or like um clauses to this 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 whole thing that we got going on one of the clauses is that men they don't always pick you because they like you they pick you because you're the most available option you're the best of option of the ones that are available here mm -hmm. either you're the only one available or you're best the best one of the ones that are in front of him mm -hmm. so it's like whole time you're thinking you're thinking and it had me thinking back bro because i if you ask me I can't do my eye makeup and talk at the same time, so I'm just gonna pause my makeup. <laughs> but if you had asked me prior, Stacey, have you ever been in love? I would have told you, yeah, about four times every single relationship I've ever been inside. She said I've been in love. And I've told him I've been in love every single time I've been in a relationship. I just love hard. I haven't been loving shit, y'all. I have in love. It's two people that are in love. It's supposed to be romance, the notebook. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to be rom-com happening in real life. You're both infatuated with one another, and it's like love, like you do anything for one another. It's supposed to feel a certain way. I was never in love. I was in delusion. And this is why, because I was with people who, sorry to say it, I was the best option available at the time that they were picking. So mm -hmm. it was like, I'm thinking, I'm the bit that they're saying I'm the best, Soon as something new came along, soon as a shiny new toy came along, or an old, an old toy, it, you just went straight back there, right? <laughs> so, it's like, <laughs> so it's like, men will do what's available, yeah. or they'll do what their the best option is. Sometimes the best option is not the most reasonable option. Like, yeah, you may have it all going on, shorty, and you may be like that bitch for real. If his old shorty comes back around, it's what he knows best. It's what he loves best. Maybe he was she was the first love. You know what I mean? He's gonna go back, and you're no longer the best option. Best, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Basically, I'm hit this crowd now. Okay, you basically, um, it even goes back to. I feel like we've said this before, but it goes back to the um, men. Even when they're getting married, they don't get married out of love. They get married out of convenience, out of whoever is in front of their face right then and there. And it's like it's such a weird thing to do. And if you're a man and you are like you're straight and you like bitches and this is how you think. I just want to, if you can comment down below and let me know why it is you guys are wired this way or what makes you think this is a logical way of thinking. Like why would you just marry somebody because they're convenient? Why would you ever, people, maybe girls do this too, but why would you ever do that to yourself and to this person? Because now when somebody comes along that you actually think, oh, I kind of like this one. You, you already, you already, you already wasted this one's time. Like it's like, why the fuck do y'all do that dumbass shit? It doesn't make any sense. And then you have the other one thinking that she's mad in love. And, and she's not. Fuck out of here. We couldn't handle the truth. Just give it the truth. Fuck. Just fucking let me know. But you know what I find? I let me know, kinda... nigga. Let me. Is that, isn't that like a... Yeah. Let me know, nigga. Let me know. Let me know. Yeah. I'm fucking the clitoris. Oh. <laughs> um, I feel like a lot of niggas, like, I'm... Mm. He's at a point in his life where all his friends are getting married mm -hmm. and having kids mm -hmm. and some of them are even like people i've talked to you know what i mean like these people have passed the talking stages with bitches they're now having kids mm -hmm. but i think some niggas are like seeing it as like a race like it's like oh yeah damn, my time is running all my kids are all my all my boys are having kids and me i haven't even i don't even have a girlfriend let alone someone to, to even like you know what i mean like someone to even consider marrying like so i think they just go with whatever's convenient but that's as a oh man, you have to understand this thing because if you don't understand this thing right here, you're gonna end up in a fucked up situation. You're gonna end up with your heart broken. Fucked up. I'm not even kidding. I'm not playing with you. You need to get because like on top of that, what else did this man say? I think that was like the basis of it for real. Yeah. Because when now when we're watching like TV shows, like we're watching Love Island right now, and we're watching the way the they get a text. Boom, got a text. Um. Next week, there's a re recoupling, and whoever doesn't get recoupled or in a couple is dumped from the island. Tyreek, if you guys are watching, I think his name is Ty Tyreek, something like that. He looks at Ella, and he's now all over Ella. He's all over Ella. Now, all of a sudden, all the niggas who Ruchi, Ruchi has been trying to get at, mm -hmm. they've never been showing her attention. But now, because they got a text that someone who's not going to be in a couple is going to be dumped from the island, 
all now, of them now they want to be in a couple. Why? Because now you want to lay on Ruchi's lap. Now and, you want to yeah and caress her head, and hold her, and cuddle her. Because she's so sweet. Is it because she's so sweet, or is it because you're gonna get dumped from the Ka island and you want to secure your mm-hmm. spot? Yeah. You know, the men do what's most like what's gonna get them. Like they they pick the most advantageous option in the moment. Mm-hmm. And so if it's like advantageous, it's gonna like it's like you're a bad bitch. You get your own money. You do your own thing. Yeah, this is someone who I would like. This is someone who I'd like to call a wife. Yeah. Like even when they're showing you to your fam, the family. This is a Muslim girl. This is someone who I yeah. This one is like up to par. The family would want me to bring something like this home. <laughs> so I'm gonna bring it home. But then when something else comes along, it's just like uh, they choose. They're trying to with a different part of their brain, and they go there instead. And that might not be the best thing. But it's like, this is what I want right now. No longer you, it's this. So, guys, open your eye. Open your eye. I'm telling you, this has made me think so differently. Like, now I look at my phone and I'm just like... I don't be... It's the way that... Even the way that we text niggas after seeing this information, after finding out this information, even the way that we text niggas is different. Everything has changed. It's like, do you... Do you actually fucking be stink? No, the fuck you don't. You don't. You just you're do you not don't. get off my fucking phone. But let's be real. You can tell me that you don't, and I'm cool in it. Cause yeah. I don't fuck with you either. But like now you're sitting in my face pretending to fuck with me, and it's like, and now every single time either of us get a text where it's like a man is trying to overplay his part uh-huh. when we both know, like you know, you don't give a fuck about me, and I know you don't give a fuck about me. Mm-hmm. But just, but you're trying to play this role like you do. Me and her both look at each other like. Mm. <laughs> okay. Even, you know what? There was this nigga that I liked a while ago, and we were like flirting with each other. We we're talking with each other. We we're getting to know each other, and then like suddenly he's like, "We should just." I think we'd be really good friends. And I said, "I don't know what the fuck is your problem, but you can really get the fuck out of my face." Then a little while later, I look at his Instagram and I realize you, him, and his old bitch got back together. Mm-hmm. So he was fucking with me until you got back with her. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, nigga. What the fuck is wrong with you? Then some time goes by, nigga wanna slide into my fucking DM talking about, hey Layla, hope you've been good. Mama, you've been such a good friend to me. Like I like hmm. I look at his Instagram. The pictures of him and his bitch are gone. They're gone. Do you think I'm fucking dumb? And I promise you, me a couple years ago, I probably would have fought for that. She'd be like, he wants me back. Yeah, he, he just had a, you just he just had a realization. Men always come back. Yeah. XYZ, XYZ. That's not what No, it is. but they're not coming back. They're coming back, yeah. Out of convenience and uh, something yeah. else has didn't work out, so this is my this was whatever. This is available now. Yes. So this is and once you with. deep the the reason why they're coming back and then you actually learn to love yourself, you <laughs> you learn that loving yourself comes without disrespecting the shit out of yourself and going mm-hmm. back. So you learn to just say, Get the fuck on nigga, stupid nigga. Is somebody knocking on the door? Or is that outside? I think it's outside. No, that's outside. Okay. That was so scary to me. I don't know why. I don't know why I actually. <laughs> you look little... scared in the face. That was scary. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's that guys. Um be careful, be safe out there, and always come to us if you need a key to the streets, because mm-hmm. we got it for sure. We got some advice for sure. Um now let's see the next topic of discussion. Um, somebody said in the comments of our last YouTube video that the poly this noise the poly example is a prime example of where social media is at. If you want views or popularity, you have to be the most hated or controversial person on social media. No room for original content right now. The person said this their account's called Supremacist. Supremist? Supremist? I can't fucking read. I don't care. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. <laughs> um, yeah, let's fucking talk about that, actually. I'm going to do my eyebrow real quick. In our last video, we were talking about how they... I was talking about how I get really bored with society right now because it's like, bitch, can we talk about something that actually fucking is like, duh, like you guys have the most mind-boring like conversations that I've ever, ever had in my life. And part of the conversations that I gave as an example was the polyamorous couple that goes live every single day on TikTok. If you don't know what I'm talking about, hit the video. I think it's going to be right here. I'll put it right here, right here. Remind me to put it right there, right there. Okay. Otherwise, nothing's going to come up over there. they will just be like, mm, what the fuck? You liar. Yeah. But, um... Um, yeah, so then the this person was basically talking about how like this is where we're at in social media and how like people are not original and the only way to really do get popular on social media right now is to cause drama, which is very true. And it's kind of sad because I see so many people trying to take up a career in content creating mm-hmm. and, then, and then they just like, I'm buying a camera, I'm learning to edit. Mm-hmm. And it's like, babe, 
unfortunately, unless you do something like, I don't know, get with the rapper on the Lilo and then just expose the shit out of him and do something like crazy and fucking wreck and then and then show that, oh, I'm actually a good person uh, at the end of all of this and then you may gain a following. Like for some, I don't know why nowadays social media is just like, you have to you have to be the drama to get mm -hmm. anywhere. Like even on our channel, bro, you guys be in the comment section asking about drama this, drama that. Can we just be happy together here? <laughs> we are talking about real things, not that thing that you want to talk about. So like, yeah, I don't get it. Oh my God, this clay face mask on my ear. Do you see this? I feel, like, I feel like I just showed you the inside of my ear. Did you see this? No. <laughs> you you actually showed me nothing. Your hijab was covering the whole. Oh, ear. there's literally I did a clay face mask earlier this morning and it's stuck all over my fucking ear and I didn't realize it till right now. Um, which but anyway, what she said, I think it's true. I think it's been true for the last like two three years now. It's like you guys really only fuck with people who are like doing some weird ass shit. I don't really have much to say about that topic because honestly, y'all think I be doing some weird ass shit and I feel like that's why y'all be watching my shit. And I don't be doing some weird ass shit. That's just how y'all niggas feel. Like a lot of people who who like tap into like her social media, it's like they're looking for her to do something weird. Like show those arms, girl, so I can talk about it. Mm -hmm. And like show those, like do something like wear some emo clothes so I can tell you how haram this is and it actually isn't. And it's like... You guys love it. Low key, they're sitting behind their phone. They love it. Yeah. Like, they don't even. They're not actually genuinely angry. I feel like. I feel like they're not actually mad at you, bro. They just be like, Ooh, I just. <laughs> they just that was be crazy. Like, <laughs> they just be like wanting to say something, wanting to do something, want to be part of something that's like, like, and guys, why don't we just all go tap into something that has some um, substance? Oh my god, there is egg in my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> just spit again. <laughs> We need to get it the fuck together. There is so much egg in my teeth right now. Um. But yeah, when when we were like starting this, whatever the fuck this is, show, pod, channel, YouTube, TikTok, um, um, I was like, you know, some people are like, everyone has a podcast, everyone has a show like that, like don't even, rah, rah. so it's like, I get it, you guys have seen like i feel like everybody has a fucking podcast everybody yeah everybody's show, doing it right now everybody's doing it and the only people who actually like come out and do like pop out is like something some shit had to hit the fucking fan for for you guys to want to tap in we're just hoping that by the grace of god you guys watch the shit i and mean and stay and stay fucking tuned wow my salivation <laughs> glands right now are going off the his eye the his a okay it's always every time we start doing this video, I remember how hard it is to talk, especially while doing your eyebrows. It's literally fucking impossible. Um. Anyways, we had another topic of discussion. Um. Are almost done with them. Huh? Are almost done with the eyebrows. Almost. Once I finish outlining them, I mean concealing them, I'll be done. Um. Somebody asked, "Would you ever deal with your friend's ex?" Because or like, how do you feel about shit like that? Me personally, I would fucking never. I don't care how much I like that nigga. If my friend fucked with him, I am not fucking with him. And some people don't have that, um, you know, what's it called? Heshot? Shame. Shame. Or like respect for yourself. And, and even then, it's like you don't have respect for your friend too. This is your friend's fucking ex and you want to fuck with him? That bad? There's other niggas. And so many niggas are exactly, they're carbon copies of each other. You don't need this one that fucking badly. And then me and her on top of that, we said this earlier, we do not have the same type at all. And I feel like that's really like, it'd be saving so many arguments that could possibly happen between me and you. It, that, I've never even thought about st stealing her man. She's never ever thought about <laughs> stealing mine. Because I'd be like the tall, dark chocolate, mm, African man. Nigerian at that <laughs> and like like she I like like muscly I don't yeah she likes skinny I like scrawny five eight five nine you know like your ethnicity doesn't really matter to me anybody can fucking get it as long as you're and you know what I don't know if this sounds weird every time I say it, I feel like I might sound a little bit weird because you know how normally short bitches are always like, I love tall niggas. I want a tall nigga. Me, I fucking hate tall niggas. And I hope I don't sound like I'm just so different and quirky and I'm just not like other short girls. I genuinely don't fucking like tall niggas. If you're over six feet tall, I can't fucking do it. Get the fuck away from me. 
it just feels wrong and it looks weird. Why are we standing next to each other right now? We look a bit off. It looks like a child. Don't yeah. And a lot of the times when Tawny is fucking me, I can just see in their eyes, you like the fact that I'm this small. And it's weird. So I don't want to fuck with you, actually. You know what's so crazy about life? Hmm. We're going to continue this conversation with me and her daughter with our eyebrows. Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I look off the silence and I have to fill it and it's just, hey, hey, hey. look at my quads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow, they're actually coming in. Uh, my concealer is so yeah, on camera. You made a rebel, rebel of a canvas man's careful daughter. You love the best thing that's it's ever been mine. Shorty, Shorty's in a chokehold. Shorty loves men. <laughs> Tell yourself it's a war. Not too much. The Shorties are gonna come for you. She's not a whore in a bad way. She's a whore in the same way that like a lot of us are whores. But like all her music is all. Yeah. Why the fuck do they do that every single time we start filming? I don't know. I think they're like, fixing something outside. Her, um, she, her, all her music is about like getting a nigga back or getting a nigga from another bitch or like you know, like or or being mad that she's not with a nigga no more or like X Y and Z. She's always just like with a nigga. <laughs> you, you you need to make out. Let me let me stop. Let me stop reading her. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're done with our eyebrows. I'm just like blending the excess, I mean, the concealer around them so that I can brand the foundation into the brand of the of the concealer mm -hmm. so that we can brand it and make it one brand. So, yeah. <laughs> um, do you want to keep talking about what we're talking about? Yeah, what were we saying? We we're talking about. Every time I get to my eyebrows and I look like this, I just look at it. I look at the mirror. I mean, in the camera, like side eye camera, and I'm like trying to act like this isn't something like a crazy way to be looking. It gets worse before it gets better, and we said that last time. And you guys trusted the process, and a lot of you guys were like, "Yeah, so glad we trusted the process because it was looking real scary when you guys started." And mm -hmm. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you. Uh, you what know, were we talking about? Um. You know, sometimes whenever we are asked to remember things, both of us have bad memory. But I feel like sometimes I feel like you just like throw it out there and then I, my head, my brain heats up, like steam comes out of my ears. Mm -hmm. But you just throw the question out there and I'm not actually thinking about what we're talking about. No, because I know it's not coming to me. So I just, I throw it out there for you to remember. <laughs> you said, what were we talking about? Her? Hmm. Mm. Me? <laughs> like mad memory. I always remember, but hold it there. I'm gonna check if this video is in slow mo. Just oh. scared me by saying that. <laughs> if it is, I'm gonna kill somebody's daddy. Oh. It's like, and it's like, no, I'm not ugly because I'm black, but because I'm black, everybody finds me ugly. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's what was happening in my school. And so she'd be like, isn't Linda so much more prettier than me, right? Is that the right grammatical way to say that? So much more prettier than me? So much prettier than me? Yeah. Yeah. So much prettier than me. That's what she would say. And everybody would be like, no, like, are you serious? You're so much prettier than her. Mind you, I'm in the room. I'm in the room with everybody. Like, why, why are we, what's happening right now? And then she would also like, um, she'd be like, oh, like Layla's body is so much nicer than mine, right? Mind you, Shorty had big ass titties, fat ass, snatched waist. I was literally this big. You want to ask everybody in the room whose body is nicer right now? Mind you, we're both Muslim. Why are you even asking this shit? Now everybody's looking at my ass and you are trying to figure out whose ass is fucking bigger. Her ass was bigger at the time. Mine is definitely bigger now, so fuck you, bitch. But that's what the fuck was happening. Everybody was like, nah, like your boobs are so much nicer than hers. And I'm like, why are we, why are we having this? This, is, this isn't weird to everybody. Why are we acting like this is a normal conversation to be having right now? And she was just, weird. it was very much trying to one up me and trying to like embarrass me in front of everybody. Like the fuck? And then even on her birthday, we always, bitch, if you're seeing this shit, I actually don't fucking like you. And I know you're seeing this shit. Anyways, on her birthday, she went to throw a birthday party at the lake. And I did a story time about this like three years ago. We all go to the fucking lake. Me and one of the girls leave to go buy cake and sushi. And then we come back. Everybody's starting to surround me. Everybody's closing in on me. And I'm wondering why is everybody closing in on me right now? It's not even my fucking birthday. What y'all want from me? I hear one of the girls say, um, no, nah, don't do that. That's not even funny, bro. Why did everybody start fucking chasing me? saying you're going to get wet. And I'm trying to explain, guys, I can't fucking swim. We are at the lake right now. I don't know how to fucking swim, I will die. I got chased through the woods. 
at her birthday party. She did nothing to stop them, nothing to help me, chased through the fucking woods. Luckily, my brother was parked on the other side, got in my brother's car, and asked him to please, for the love of God, drive. And we left. And they all went to text me and said I was taking the day away from her. Like I was making the day about myself and it wasn't even my birthday. You niggas just tried to commit murder. But I'm the drama, right? Yeah. And the nigga was there. The nigga that I was fucking with, mm. he was there. He was chasing me too? Nah, he was just watching. Like I ran to him and this other girl who was standing next to the first and I went behind him and I was like, please help me. They're chasing me. And then one of the girls was like, oh my God, no way. And she grabs me and tries to hold me still. And I like pushed her off me and ran. Mind you, the girl grabbed me, you wouldn't even believe who it is. We didn't talk for like four or five months after that. Wow. Yep. Guys, I, I think I'm convinced growing up in Tennessee is like growing up in, in a movie about high school, like a typical high school movie. Because when I tell you I went to school, I'm from Boston, not Boston, let me not fucking jack that. I'm not from Boston, I'm from Massachusetts, uh, stand up, uh. I grew up there and I went to school there in that area and nothing, nothing was giving bully, nothing was giving one up each other as a friend, all my friends were pretty like... I feel like even the friends that I've lost, it's like never on that type of time. It's always been like we've fallen off for some other reason, not because like there was never been no type of, oh, you did that, so I'm going to do this better. Or you did this, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to one-up you, da, da da No, it's never been on that type of tip. <laughs> Bar -em. These niggas were pouring milk on each other's heads and shit. Like, what? I, I don't know really what type of high school life that is. Th th this makes me like contemplate where I want to raise children. <laughs> like, I definitely don't want to go down south. You guys got it down bad over there. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what it is? Everybody in the south is so like wrapped up in the whole like varsity team, football team. We got the best basketball team in, this, in the state. And it's like, I feel like that even feeds into their delusion of life as a movie. And this is Camp Rock. Like, it's like. They all just like act like that. It's so fucking weird. Like, I can't even. I look so white right now. Just give me a fucking minute. But yeah, it was just it was, it was a weird experience. That bitch, I can't fucking stand her. And she even added me into a group chat years later and wanted to talk about I'm a weirdo. And then if I, I'm not even gonna fucking go there. Bitch, fuck you. But yeah, I guess you can't even say much because you've never had your friends do some weird ass shit like that like that to you. But that bitch be going all around Nashville, Tennessee, talking about, yeah, um, she doesn't fuck with me no more because she let the fame get to her head. Bitch, you, you, you fucked with my nigga. And then you watched everybody at your birthday party try to murder me. You did nothing. Then you gossiped me and said I was doing too fucking much and that I needed to come back and stop making the day about myself. Then you put me in a group chat and called me a weirdo. The crazy thing is, I don't really know this story that well. She did come to LA to visit one time and I can definitely say on my own personal like my own on my own personal accord from what this I've seen the, this is the girl who grabbed the girl you're talking about is the one who grabbed me and tried to hold me still I know and I tried to run away I know yeah I can confirm that she is a bird <laughs> and like just watching the way she was moving like she was going out of her way to like embarrass Layla in front of her LA friends and it was very like it was really weird. Yeah, it was just strange behavior. Not not because she's not a bird because of like the way she looks, but it's like you're a bird because of the way that you behave. You're, you're you came out here, you paid how much for a flight to come out here, and then you just all you came to do was embarrass her in front of people who like we've been living with her for a while now. We're not like what like this is our sis. You know what I mean? Like you can't do anything that's gonna make us feel like she's a weirdo. So you're not do, you're actually just being a weirdo. You're yeah. just being a bird. Is all that you're being, mama. She even, um, when that happened... I don't even want to make it all about her, though. Yeah. Like, I want to let her go. Okay. She's, she's a bird. Like, and that's a bird. She's a bird. Like, that one's a, like, a bird bird. Bok bok bird. So, I, and I don't want to give her any more. She's already taken a lot of time. <laughs> she oh, needed, wow. I forgot we don't have much time. Yeah, she's, she's, she needed maybe 30 seconds, and that was it. Okay. But, yeah. Me, once I get on these bitches, I can't yeah, stop. Yeah, you can't stop. <laughs> um, another topic of discussion... Um, thoughts on finding dates via dating apps oh god I'm losing <laughs> hope guys first of all I 
we we i don't even know i don't even know how much we're allowed to say but like we worked with a dating app and um we've worked with them multiple times and like you know every every time this dating app approaches me to like be to work with them like promote them or whatever i'm always like you know what i'm going to take this as my opportunity to be on the dating app to actually use the dating app and then whenever anybody asks why i'm on it i'll just be like you know promo <laughs> but um and so i was using it the other day and just reading through the fucking profiles bro it, it, it you know i paused my profile really and we can do it we can't i have such a hard time living like bro my gosh men i don't know if they don't know that like these profiles are meant to to be like i'm supposed to see your profile and be like mm, i like him i like his personality he's funny he's quirky i'm getting with him swipe right you know no someone was like okay there was a prompt that was like oh th this really gets me going and you're supposed to put what really gets you going that was a perfect opportunity to say something quirky like they would like they do in the movies like what really gets you going someone who knows the best spots for sushi in town like just say something like that now i know you like sushi like simple this man said pretty toes with the drooling emoji I didn't mean actually gets you going, Papa. Yeah. I didn't mean what makes you have a leaky in your pants. That's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant what gets you... Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't understand why people like... Men's, men's dating profiles... Men's dating profiles are always so sexual. Like, it's like... What? What? Do you guys know what the dating profile is supposed to be for? Like, I, like you can have sex later on when you meet the person and you like the person. But, like, why are you just immediately... Like, this is like a prostitution profile. Like, mm -hmm. I'm so confused. Why are you, why do you have all this bullshit in your profile? I'm, I'm so fucking confused. I can't, guys. This world is looking like die single. I mean, it's a sad story that I'm living to tell right now. Not forever, though. I refuse to proclaim it in Jesus' name. We learned we were, actually, there was something that we were going to talk about that had to do with that. Let me just send this fucking text message. Just put your ringer off. Yeah, you're right. But I, had to, I just have to send something to Muhammad real quick. Um, just continue what you were saying. I'm gonna. I was about to interrupt you. Um. Yeah. No. I don't know what the fuck what this life is looking like. Cause I thought like dating app. You know, everyone on here wants to date. I can look for all in one place. He's not looking like that. He's looking a little more difficult. And I feel like I'm. I'm also such a picky person. And <sighs> I don't know if it's doing me any justice. Guys. You're very picky when it comes to niggas. Yeah. Super. I'm so picky, but it's because, like, I know what I deserve, and I also know what I don't fucking deserve. Like, I feel like niggas will try to make you, like, they'll try to, like, humble, humble you. you into, like, like, taking the treatment they're giving you, and it's just, like, I'm not doing that because there's so many people who are doing the exact opposite, mm -hmm. and it's, I'm not doing that. I'm so sorry. Like, and then my, uh, that's my, I was going to say my ics, and, like, they, they really do be taken over. Like, an ick Oh, we were going to talk about ics, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can't. There's some things that go on your profile, like, bro, there's no way my profile is so cute and quirky and photogenic and I'm making puns and making jokes and your picture is like from fucking 2015. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, it's, it's like you took it out of a cereal box, like, and then you just posted it. It's like, it's horizontal. You didn't even take the time to flip it. Mm -hmm. you, it's cr it's cr crumply. It looks like you're wearing your dad's suit from the fucking 60s. It's like, what is happening here, Papa? And you're supposed to be the man of my household? You're supposed to be the father of my kids? Get the fuck on. And don't fucking turn back. <laughs> I've, I've seen so many profiles on dating apps where it's like, dead ass a picture of them from like two, three, four, five years ago. And sometimes it's almost clear that you're using this picture to catfish you. Like it's like, this is definitely not what you look like anymore. Mm -hmm. But you're using this picture to trick me into fucking swiping right on you right now. I saw one um, where he said, um, I'm a really good conversationalist and I'm great at sex. Like, what? what the fuck? What? Okay. Nobody, literally nobody asked about that. I know just the guy for you and it's not here, guys. It's a different one. Like, it's a different website. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, you're just so weird. Like, you thought, you saw, you genuinely in your brain thought that someone would see this and then be like, yes, and like go for you. Like, is that what you really thought? Like, and it's like, it'd be niggas who like, their education level be like, pursuing a PhD. Are you? 
What are you doing? Really? A PhD in what? Because this does not give intelligent answer, intelligent feedback. Like, um, you know what else that makes me think about? Like, mm. Niggas having the fucking audacity, like that nigga who was giving you an Uber ride home the other day. Yeah, like, bro, I'm tired, God. I'm so tired of these niggas. <laughs> Guys, I was on my way home from the airport the other day, and the man who was inside, who was driving the way you Uber, talk is so Canadian. And the man, the man who was uh, inside the Uber, like you, you just speak like a Canadian every time. I don't know what really a Canadian sounds like, but yeah, the guy was, the guy was an Arab man, right? And he was like, um, we're talking and then he was like, oh, like I was okay with having a quiet conversation. I was watching the ultimatum and I was like mad into it and I didn't get to watch it on the plane. So I was like, yeah, let's just watch this really quickly and do this really quick ride home. So I'm in my phone and then he starts trying to have a conversation with me. And then I'm like, I, I, like he asked me like, um, where am I coming from? Where am I visiting from? And I'm like, I live here. And he's like, oh, okay. Then I keep playing my video. Then he keeps chatting. And he, he'll be having to pause. So I'm like, what, 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 like, what is it? What do you want from me? So now I pause the video and I put it away and now I'm talking to him. And he's like telling me like what he does. Now he gets to the point where he's just like spewing information, like telling me what he does. And I've never even asked a question. Like he's like, I have multiple streams of income. I, uh, I do, I do Uber uh, only at night time when I'm free because I'm never free in the day. Daytime is not free for me, you know. I am an Arab man. I make money. I like making money. It's part of us, you know. And I'm just like, with my Uber drivers, especially if I'm lit. I wasn't lit, but especially if I'm lit, I'm gonna entertain the conversation. Like I'm, just, and I didn't feel like it, but I was just like, you know what, Stacey, just tap into that. Just do it. So I'm talking to him. I'm like, yeah, I heard Arab people got money for real. Yeah, tell me what that be like. Mm hmm. So he's telling me, he's like, yeah, I do all these jobs in LA. I moved from Dubai, da 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 da. He's telling me, I'm like, oh, Dubai sounds lit. Like, I've seen people going to Dubai. It looks nice. Like, thoughts about Dubai? Like, how when, when, when have you last been back? And he's like, telling me, yeah, if you want to go to Dubai, I suggest you get a rich sugar daddy to take you there. He'll pay for everything. And I'm looking at him like, mm. And the first question I want to ask him is about the, like, porta potties. Like, on TikTok, they're talking about how, if you don't know what porta potties is, they're saying how women go to Dubai and they make themselves a porta potty for the men in Dubai. And basically men shit in their mouth for um, thousands of dollars. And it's like, I was gonna ask him about that, but I was like, let me just be a normal human being and not ask about sexual questions on an Uber ride. I should have just asked, cause this thing knew no boundaries. And I did not know <laughs> this at this time. But um, he was like, yeah, I got a sugar daddy, go take you to Dubai, he's gonna pay for everything. And I was like, oh, is that so? Uh, then he starts talking to me about like, oh, who, who, why? You don't like, like, what's your type? What's this, this? And I said, okay, now we're here. So I tell him, I'm like, yeah, I'm not talking to nobody right now. And he's like, and why is that? Like, what's your, what, what do you bring to the table? Why are you not talking to people? Da, da, da. Let me know why by the end of this conversation, this man had asked me to take down his number and we could eventually do something on the lines of OnlyFans because that's one of his streams of income. Like he said he has only, he said, no, he doesn't even do OnlyFans. He said he does this other private like underground thing because OnlyFans does not pay enough. And he's like, yeah, I know a guy and I can pick the girl and da, 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 so let me know. And I was like, you just dropped me off at my home, my home, mm -hmm. my humble abode. You know where I live, and you're insinuating that we do, that Only we do. Only fans together now. Mind you guys, I'm wearing a hoodie. I'm not wearing no wig underneath this hoodie. I'm wearing sweat, uh, pajama pants and Crocs, and I promise you, I look, I look away. I look so tired. I was not trying to entertain nobody. This man is insinuating that we now have sex. Mm -hmm. You That's have how you feel. no shame. You have no shame. Your penis is for everybody. Is that what you're telling me right now? That's what you're saying. And that's how a lot of niggas are. Like you could, anybody could really get it. So you're telling me that when you're doing this Uber ride, when you're doing this Uber job, you just go and recruit people. That's what you're saying. I'm so confused. I I, I was talking to this nigga one time, and we had just started talking, and he was like, "So like, what do you like to do for fun? Like, what are your hobbies?" And I was like, "Um, I don't know. I, I like watching movies. I be working out." I'm like, just all of that shit. He's like, oh, you be working out? I said, what kind of workouts do you do? I was like, really just a leg day. Because I'm trying to have, I said, I'm trying to have a body, yaddy, yaddy. He said, oh, I have a workout for you. And I said, what is that workout? I already fucking knew where this nigga was going to take this shit. Mind you, we started talking like two, three days ago. We've only been talking through text messages now at this point, right? I have a workout for you. I said, oh, what's this workout that you have for me? And he was like, um, it involves, um, he was like, I can't really give you too many details, but it involves a massage beforehand. I said, Get the fuck. Get the fuck. And then I said, I'm going to let you know right now that we're not about to fuck. 
um, I'm Muslim, and I don't know if you couldn't tell, but that means I'm, I, I'm not allowed to have sex before marriage. And then he was like, that's crazy, so you just don't fuck? And I was like, no. And I'm not fucking you at that. And then he said, um, oh, Rar XD, such an edgy girl, you just don't fuck. And I was like, what the fuck did those, what did that even mean? And what do those things have to do with each other? Being Muslim and being emo, you just mix the fucking... The fuck? The other day, um... I didn't even tell you this, Layla. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I was on FaceTime with this man because he called me while I was at the gym. This man always calls me when I was at the gym, like, where are you? Hey. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I remember previously I had called him because I was like, I want a drink. Like, what? Like, where are you at? Like, let's go get some drinks. Me and my girl and you. So then he goes to go. So while we're at drinks, he like insinuates that like, I think he said something about getting a tattoo or something like that. So then I talk about my tattoos and I have a tattoo on my bum bar ask for them. So I tell him that and then he's like, oh, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see. Now what made you think I was going to mm-hmm. strip myself and show, show you? Okay. So then he's like, um, so then he's like, yeah, I'm trying to see. I told him, yeah, I basically was like, honestly, I don't, I'm not surprised you asked because I didn't bring it up, but like, no. Okay. So that's now that's me telling you, no, now I've drawn the boundary. Like, yes, I brought it up. But no, I don't want to show you. Fast forward a couple weeks, I'm at the gym, he calls me. And he's like, I said, so what did you call me for? Because I'm literally in between reps. And he's like, oh, oh, um, I don't remember what I called you for, but you forgot to show me the tattoo on your butt. No, he didn't say on your butt. He said the tattoo of, of the, and he said what it is. And I was literally like, and what, what, and what, what, and what, what, and what did you want me to do with that shit right now? Like, did you want me to go and like, Put my pants down. Go in the bathroom and put my pants down and show you. Like, what did you want me to do with that information? I'm making a mess out of here on this. I'm about to make a mess right now. Oops. Um, but yeah, I was like, I I told him, I was like, so what did you want? Like, what did you want me to do? Go in the gym and take off my pants and then show you, or like what? Or even like take the time out of my day to now go home later on and show you, or like what were you looking for exactly? Did you say that to him? Yes. And he was like, no. No, it's not even like that. It, it was just like, you, you just told me you had a tattoo of something and I just wanted to see what it looked like. It wasn't even like the area, it was just what it was. Like, mm-hmm. and I also want, yeah. And, and then he started adding other ones. I also want to see the one that's on your back too, not just that one. Like, I care about all of them. And I was really like, I care about all of them? Shut the fuck up. What did you call me for? What did you, what did you press my numbers on the keypad to tell me? Because it's giving you're wasting my freaking time. And time is of the essence. He's wasting his own time too, because oh, you're not about to fucking show him. No, like literally. Get the fuck and then out me of and my friend have the same exact tattoo in the same exact place. So I told him, and he's really for everybody. If you're if you're watching this, I'm sorry, my friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> he's so he's for everybody. Like I literally will watch him in the same room. Like me and her will be in the same room, and like the friend's not her by the way. She never met him. But like if for example, if me and her are in the same room. He will sit here and flirt with me, and then while her back is turned, and if she leaves the room, or if I leave the room, she'll go do flirt flirt with the other one who's just standing right there. And he, and I've watched him do it with my friend. So I told him one time he's on the phone. Now, because I don't want to show you my butt right now, I'll show you this tattoo, I'm gonna have my friend who's working out here with me bend over and show you the tattoo. Is that okay with you? And he's like, bro, stop, chill. What makes you think I want to see her butt? I said, what do you what do you think makes me think I want you want to see her butt? You think I'm stupid? You think I don't see that when I turn around, you 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 lean in for a kiss and she goes ooh ooh ooh, like literally she'll go like this, come, and then he'll lean in and she'll be like ew, you thought I was actually gonna kiss you. That nigga is a horny like, for Like and he thinks I didn't see the interaction, like I didn't peep that whole interaction, but it's like me and my friend are both in on the fact that like look at watch 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 like. And you're just there thinking that you're having a whole room fooled. Oh my god, you know what? Let me shut the fuck up. This is this is somebody who No I'm it... so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he watches this to be real, but if he does I apologize as well. I, I don't even know if I, I, I can apologize for real. I, I, I you it's something that you do, it's something that you know that I know that you do, so it's like it, it's real life, man. <laughs> I'm just reiterating your But one time, you know, let me see how many more topics we have left to discuss before I start telling this fucking story. I'm not even done with my makeup. You already set your face. Um, mm, we were going to talk about Suki. But mm. let me share this real quick. One time, me and Stacey went out. And this white man approached me and started talking to me. And this was a grown-ass white man. And I was only talking to him because there was nobody else to talk to. 
And at first it was giving like a chill conversation. It was just giving like, oh, what do you do? Oh, I do this. Nah, like it was just like a normal, there's a group, this is a group setting, we're having a normal conversation. This nigga then proceeds to ask me um, if I've ever been with anybody, what I've ever done in my life, like sexual things. And I'm telling him like, we're not having this conversation because I don't be doing that shit. And even if I wasn't Muslim, I still wouldn't have this conversation with you. No, like we're not fucking doing this right now. And then he was like, what? So you're just gonna tell me like never in your life, you're just never gonna experience sex. And I said, me personally, from my beliefs, I hate saying this because I feel like I sound like one of those bitches that think I'm good because I just haven't fucked anybody yet. But I, because of my religion, I will not be fucking until I get married. And, when, and if I don't get married, that, that it is, it is what it is. I'm not too worried about that shit. You niggas be too fucking worried about having pussy. It's never that fucking deep. And he was like, so what? Like, imagine you get married and he's not even good and you don't even know what's good and what isn't because you just married this nigga and this is your first time. And I was like, why? Why are we still having this conversation? And why are you still asking me these things? And then he was like, he was like, um, let me see your TikTok. So he gives me his phone and I turn on his phone and so his flash lights up my face and this is like a dim area. And he goes, oh my God, I just want to take you home. I just want to take you home. And I just want to, and I was looking at him like, mind you, when I open his phone, I'm seeing his wife and his kid <laughs> as a screensaver. <laughs> I was like, there is just no way you're serious right now. Right. That nigga, and niggas, just, he just felt so comfortable saying that shit to me. What made you think this was an okay thing to say to anybody? Get the fuck out of my face. You're gonna take me home? You're gonna take me home and do what now? And is your wife gonna- And he was like, I just, wanna, he's, he's, I just wanna give you the experience. Like, if you never had it before, I wanna, I wanna give you the experience. And I was like, Okay, no. so is your wife going to greet me at the door or is she gonna- <laughs> Am I going to say hello to your children? Like, do you need me to babysit or what? First or before? Ew! <laughs> Men are funny, God. You made them funny. <laughs> I want a man who's funny, like I want, cause I feel like I'm, I just like, bro, when I was when I was younger, I don't know if it was like, cause I was first introduced to humor for real, but like, I used to find niggas, so, not niggas, but there's two boys in my class, I used to go to a Christian school and there's only two boys in my class of like nine, and those two boys were the funniest, bro, I used to roll on the ground laughing, everyone, they used to have everybody cracking up, I need to laugh like that. And nowadays, men don't give me that laugh. Mm -hmm. They don't give me that laugh. I give myself that laugh. I am that. Like, and I'd be like, mm, had such a good time with this man. In reality, my jokes are just bounce it, bouncing off that flat ass forehead of yours and coming <laughs> back to me. And so that's why it was funny. You were never funny. I was, my funny was ricocheting off you. That was it. I need mean, funny, but not funny. I'm laughing at you. Like, like funny, like you're inviting me to your house good to have sex with you. Oh. Like you're inviting me to your house to have sex with you and you have kids. Like I don't want funny. I'm laughing at you because you're oh. stupid. I want funny. Make a joke, and make that shit funny. And don't make it. And don't just be funny on some like banter. Like I don't want banter. You guys are taking banter too far. I don't want banter. Banter is giving like when we're flirting. You're just funny. Oh okay. Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, I want like to not breathe. Like I want to like like be so like. God, please hear me. Hear my cry. Oh Lord hear my cry i need like to like not breathe when i laugh or like my abs hurt when i laugh or, I fall, or i'm like like stop talking like for one second stop talking because you're making me crack up i just don't see it anymore but i can i can genuinely say no i've never been with anybody who's like funny for real i was with a nigga who was fully convinced he was funny as fuck and um there were so many times where i realized halfway through the conversations that we were having it's really me who's making all of these jokes it's me who's being real fucking funny right now. There's actually only been one thing I've ever talked to where I actually laugh. And he's honestly really just a friend for real. But he's, he's a man and he actually makes me laugh. Yeah. yeah. The, every other nigga, it's just like, oh my God. And then like one of them had the audacity to tell me I wasn't funny. In what world am I not funny? Please, let's not fucking do that right now. I'm actually funny as fuck. Not to sound conceited, but I'm actually a very funny person. And I know this because there's been so many times where I be talking and everybody's just, everybody's cracking the fuck up. You, I haven't laughed yet. I'm laughing because I'm making such good jokes and I'm laughing by myself here. And it's like, we're, I don't know. Oh my God. Oh, uh, you know who the one was uh, that tried to convince me that I wasn't funny? I think so. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, I just can't, guys. I, I, I keep, God. <sighs> I need a miracle, y'all. Pray for me. Pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Okay, um, 
we're the next thing we're gonna have, we're gonna talk about is we saw this video of this girl. If you guys know Suki, I know Suki. I feel like you guys all know Suki. She did not know Suki. Or I didn't at first. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You didn't know Suki, but like Sukiana is this rapper. Um, I don't know if she was known for other things before, but she's very like she makes music that's kind of like sexual, I guess. But she was in this interview, and because she makes so many sexual innuendos, and because she makes sexual songs and talks about doing things like that with her man, the man that is her man, the one that she, I think she has kids with. The one that she has the right to say those things with about i mean because she does all that i guess the interviewer took it upon himself to be like oh you can do that to me and then she was looking at him like what the fuck are you talking about what the fuck and then he was like come on you know like and you can't he said something along the lines of like you with all that shit that you talk in your songs like for you to act surprised right now is crazy like mm -hmm. you know exactly what the fuck i want to do let's go to the back and she was looking at him like eh? and that made us think like girls like we could be like we could like care ourselves a certain way or say things and it doesn't even mean like like she didn't even have to say like i enjoy having sexual intercourse with the whole world anybody who wants it can get it no she said things about her man like what mm -hmm. she wants to do to her man but because she said such crazy things you got caught up in the craziness you didn't even think to the fact that it could never be you stink it could never be you she doesn't want you and her toto she wants her man that's it so it's like this camera's about to shut because it's hot but so that's um yeah that's it like people just like take it upon themselves to be hella hypersexual with her because of the things that she says and i dress in a way that's like less modest even though yeah i just dress like very very scandalous very very you know because if you got it rocky you know what i mean so yeah um but like i feel like whenever we go out in public people take it upon themselves to be hella sexual and hella like obliterating my boundaries with me but with her, they don't even take it there because mm -hmm. she's dressed modestly and like she's covered up. But it's like whole time, it took me a lot to even step out of this house. I don't like I don't like having sex. I don't like being with niggas. I don't like talking to niggas. You guys piss me the fuck off, quite frankly, quite frankly. And now you're all up in my grill thinking that you can touch up on me and do whatever you want to me. And who said? Who said that you have that type of jurisdiction in, with my body? Mm -hmm. I'm so confused because I wore a mini skirt. Who said you can touch it? Yeah. I'm so confused. Even prostitutes who sell their body on the road, if they didn't tell you that you can get it, that the, that the appointment's with you, who the fuck told you that you can just come up and just pick? Are you dumb? You're objectifying women. Real bad. Real, real bad. Yeah. Thoughts? Comments? I'm asking you. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> you trying not to laugh? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thoughts? Yeah, you know, it's a very true thing because uh, one time me and her were out and this nigga just like saw her and he was talking to me. Like we were just like saying hello to each other and he like implied that she'd be doing some freaky ass shit and I said, Stacy is not like that at all. I said, I don't know what made you think that she is. And I said, and Stacy's very religious. So yeah. And he looks back at her and he looks at me and he goes, he's like, you're lying to me. And I'm like, I'm literally, why? What would I gain? lying to you right now what the fuck is it get the fuck i was like no stacy don't be doing jack shit the girl don't even leave her house i'd be outside more than her the fuck couldn't and, believe and he just couldn't even he just kept saying like don't lie to me right now and i was like i'm not lying to you please and it could never be you if i'm being quite frank with you even if i was to break my religious boundaries for you it would never be no even if i was to break my religious boundaries it could never be for you sir mm -hmm. never in this life the past life or the next life you are an ugly fuck and I'm going to keep it above with you. You know what? I'm not going to say that. I repent my sin for saying that because you're a creation of God at the end of the day. But listen, it could never be you. It could never be you. For you to be saying that, like, I'm just going to come in. Like, he was saying it to you, like, he's in disbelief. Like, you're lying to me. Let me go try and go yeah. see if I can go. It could actually never be you, George. <laughs> like, you're actually bugging out. You're bugging out. I wish he said something to me. Like, I mean, I think he did towards the end. Towards the end, yeah. I didn't know what he said to you because we started to leave and you were like angry, but I didn't know what he said to you. Like you wouldn't tell me what it was that he said. <sighs> like I just hate when niggas do that, bro. Like just because I I want to dress like this because I'm 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 a bad bitch. I'm calm. I, I, I just I'm young once I dress like this, but not. Don't think that this makes you have access to my body. Mm -hmm. Like just because I let you see a little bit of that, I don't get too excited because bitches start covering up. <laughs> if you guys keep getting excited like this, it's crazy. Have you even seen those TikToks of girls who go on the train, but they like, they'll wear their big ass sweater. Yeah, yeah. they wear their slutty outfit underneath a huge sweater, like a big 
like whatever to cover up on the train station in New York because mm. it's like they get sexualized so much like yeah yeah like sometimes when I walk around the way I be dressed it doesn't even give like admiration because you're pretty it gives like hungry like ah like I want to like bite meat and it's like okay nah nah I'm out of here we low-key finished this shit off camera sorry we still had two more topics left to discuss okay we only have 13% left so be mindful okay one of them was, would you ever date guys in the influencer world? So like other influencers and content creators or celebrities? I don't know. I don't think so because I feel like they come with their own, you know? Well, hollers. I think they come with hollers. I don't know if I want more hollers in my life. Especially if somebody can just pose, po pose to be like, she's not who she said. Like, <laughs> uh, I'm not who I say I am. I am who I say I am. Please, get on my face. Be serious. Um, um, like I don't like yeah go ahead me I would like to say that I wouldn't but I keep finding myself there not dating them but like having crushes on them or like talking to them or getting to know them and then every time halfway through like talking to this person I'm like what the fuck am I doing what the fuck am I doing what the fuck is we doing yeah I don't um, think I could do it just the 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 fact that like I, I like yes my job is social media and yes I have to post my life to make a living that's my job do I want you to have that same sword pointed at me like do I want you to have that same like I could post us and what happened with us and we could just like your whole career could just be doomed no, but even though I know I'm like a good person in my heart but like everyone can have a different narrative on the way that you are as a person and if somebody just posts something like oh this person is fucked that person and here's why just because you two fell out I don't need that type of wahala. I need you to go and rant to your friends. And I want the only people who you, who you could go rant to are the people who work with you at Home Depot. Your coworkers, you know? <laughs> Not fucking TikTok. Get the fuck. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the other topic, somebody asked if we could talk about our first ever crushes, but I think that's like, that's kind of funny actually. You want to talk about that? Who was your first ever crush? <laughs> Oh, okay, first of a crush. When I was, when I was younger, when I, when I, when I, when, 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 when I was younger, I was, I was actually like, guys, I love this man, right? And, and, I feel like when I say too much, I say too fucking much. I don't want him to know that I, you know, because I don't feel this way at all. But, um, I have a friend and his, um, his name's Victor, I'm just going to say his name's Victor. So, um, later on in life, my, like I made a friend, like I made this, this friend moved out from like Oakland or something and came to Massachusetts and then I made, I was friends with her and she started dating this man named Victor. So when I met Victor, I was like, yo, this is nigga who I had a crush on when I was little. What the fuck? My best friend's now dating him. This is crazy. After now, subdue these feelings in my heart. Guys, Victor is the cousin to another boy who I believe is also named Victor and they look identical. Mm. So I thought that this my best friend at the time's man was the man who I was having, having a crush on when I was little and it wasn't, it was his cousin who looks identical to him and now that I know like Victor, like the first Victor, like well, I don't have a crush on him at all so it's like the cousin I'm automatically revolted by like because I don't like Victor like that anyway so yeah, it was a weird revelation, they look so identical to each other, it's crazy it's so crazy um, my first ever real crush was in the sixth grade. I'm just gonna say his name because I think the five he's not gonna see this shit, and I don't think anybody even remembers him because he stopped going to our school after a while. His name was Louise. Louis? Louise? He was Mexican. Um, Clearly, he didn't hold that heart, that mission of replacing your heart if you can't remember his name. You know what though? I just don't know how that name is pronounced. Mm -hmm. I've been calling him Louise my whole life, but some people would say Louis. I don't really know. But um, basically, oh my god, he wasn't even in any of my classes. I just used to see him in the hallway and I thought he was so fucking cute. I was obsessed with that man. Like I used to just stare at him in the hallways every fucking time that he walked past me. I was obsessed with him. And I remember uh, I didn't really have many friends in sixth grade. I had like three friends and we were all like, I hate to fucking keep bringing this shit up. We were all bullied. So that's why we were all friends. And it was like nobody really like even acknowledged us. We did not exist in that fucking school. Mind you, I think it was really the only black kids in the school. It was like me and three other black kids. That'll do it. Yep. Anyways, um, had a crush on him. 
And one day I told this girl who was in my history class that I had a crush on him because she was like asking everybody who, who they had a crush on, but it was just like within our table. So I didn't think she was going to go now and fucking tell him. What did she do? She went and fucking told him. We're in gym class. We're outside. She runs across the field, whispers to him and points at me. And I said, there is just no way you just did what the fuck you just did, bitch. What the fuck is wrong with you? And then I thought he was going to be like, ew, because that's like the reaction I've gotten in the past. This nigga was like, oh. Hey! And I was like, hey, what the, what the fuck do you mean, hey? But then this nigga proceeded to fail the sixth grade. And I moved on to the seventh grade. He was still in the sixth grade. <laughs> you are not smart. Yes. Every bitch. time I would see him in the hallway, me and him would just look at each other. I'd be like, yeah. And then I actually ended up changing schools my senior year of high school. And I see this nigga walking down the fucking hallway. And I said, the whiz? But he didn't remember me. So. It wasn't that strong. It, it wasn't. wasn't. It wasn't what you thought. But to be fair, crushes are like, you like them. It's never really, yeah. it doesn't always have to be. I like having a crush on people. Like, I like just admiring you from a distance. Yeah. I feel I, I ever since that in the first nigga, I've not had that feeling I fear. I fear, I think I always just date people who like want me first and it's just like, like right now I'm at a point where it's like, I love myself enough to be picky, be choosy and stay shows up. You know what I mean? And like not just go for people who go for me because I was realizing if I go for people who go for me I'll always be in a relationship my whole entire life because there's mm. always gonna be a nigga that won't me. I ain't gonna hold you. But like I actually want like wanted that man. I didn't actually want a relationship with him, but I was like You know, like when he came around butterflies and go. But now I'm just like I just be going for niggas. I just be entertaining niggas who were into who I I'm I'm the crutch now. Ugh. Such a hard life I'm living. <laughs> I just want to have a crush on somebody again. I just want to have like an innocent crush on somebody. Just like when I see them, I'm like, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, niggas just is not doing it no more. Birds! A bunch of fucking shimbers. <laughs> a bunch of fucking shimbers. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all we had to talk about today, guys. So, wait, but take a good look at our makeup. Oh, yeah. We mm -hmm. did do this off camera. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were on live like maybe five minutes ago as we were finishing up our looks and some girl was like That looks a bit like too much. You don't think and I told her let me finish and then when I finished everybody was like But you know what I will say the first video that I ever posted my makeup was not eating that one. I Saw it. I think it's late. It's coming to Liam Yum. You still think I remember. I think it's still late. I didn't like it. It was too much But I think it's because I wasn't focusing on my makeup. I was focused too much on having this conversation Which is definitely what it should be focused on but it was like too hard to focus on both of those things. I feel like I could have done better. Here it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, we're gonna go film other videos. And if you wanna see these other videos you're gonna film, people are other accounts. We have other accounts. We have Instagrams and social medias and YouTubes and shit that don't belong to each other. We're not always a couple's channel. So if you guys wanna follow those channels, <laughs> a <couple's> gonna be, <laughs> if you guys wanna follow those videos, it's gonna be linked down below. Make sure you guys like, comment, comment and subscribe, and hit the post notification bell down, down below, below so that you get the notification whenever we post. Follow us on all social medias and we'll follow you back. Oh, <laughs> why you said that? <laughs> no, I'm making false promises. Um, we're going to see you guys in the next video next time. I'm not going to promise a date. Me love ya. Me never going to stop loving ya. Adios, bitches. Yeah. Damn, I wish I started getting up. <laughs> <laughs> is this a, is this a button? Nope. Oh.